So last night I had a steak. It was really good, good cut of steak. Really good and tender. and Oh man, it just melts in your mouth. Anyway, I can't eat that much anymore these days and I couldn't eat all my steak last night. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to make an omelette with steak. A steak omelette. Isn't that cool? Let's get on with that then. Cool. Well, welcome to Kent's Crazy Kitchen and Cooking with Crazy Kent again. There's some butter in there. Get this butter melting all through here for the omelette. There we go. There we are. Okay, let's get that egg in the pan here. There we go, get it all in there. Ooh. And we'll hit that with a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. There we go. Okay, let's just make sure this is firming up real good here. Get it all down one side here. Go and then run it back there so it's getting all firmed up. Turn the heat up a little bit. We'll just get that firmed up a little bit here. Okay, that egg is firmed up pretty good. So let's add some meat. Just want enough meat in there. Beautiful, beautiful, succulent, tender steak. There. I guess that's about it. We don't need it all necessarily. There we go, there we go. Uh, maybe a tad more pep, a salt on there. Just a tad more salt. And before we get rolling this up, let's do something really crazy in Crazy Kent's kitchen. Oh my God, we're gonna do this. Mango, <laughs> mango. So we're gonna put a little hint of mango in with that uh, steak. Steak and mango, cool, eh? There we go, don't need too much. And I better turn this off now, turn it down, or I'm going to burn my omelette. There we go. There we go, some mango. We got some good mango. Get it all in there. There we are. Mm, yummy, 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 yummy. Turn it back up a tiny bit, just real low there. There we go. And because we're using mango, we are going to throw in there a tiny bit of five spice. Just enough to make that mango pop and it'll enhance the steak as well so just a little bit of five spice there five spice whoops where are we here <laughs> there we go five spice whoops there you go <laughs> there you are now let's get on with rolling this up let's roll this sucker up yeah oh all that butter makes them slippery there we go I'll try and roll that even more there we go, rolling over. Roll over Beethoven. There we go. Whoops, getting caught up on things here. There, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now we'll just hit that a little more pepper on the top. Like that. There we go. And we'll roll it over again. Just make sure it's all cooked right through. And look, see, we got a little bit of browning on there. I had it on the heat a little too long, but it'll be okay. At least it's not black like shoe leather. <laughs> there we go. Then we'll make it look good by rolling it over again. See, no brown on that side. And there we go. We plate that sucker. Wow. Crazy, eh? Steak and mango omelet. Oh my God, this is going to be good. Oh, just look at that. Hello, monkey. Hello, monkey. You stay back. Hmm. This is going to be fantastic. This is going to be fantastic. I just know it. I just know it. Oh my God, that is so good. Now I had the leftover steak and I was going to make a steak omelet. Anyway, I thought of that last night, but because I had the mango sitting here, I thought, you know, why not try it out? Right. I'm sure it'll be good. 
But that's why I threw the mango in because it was just sitting there. But this, mm, more mango. Where's the mango? There it is. Wow, that is heavenly, heavenly, wow. Oh my God, the steak and the mango really go well together. And because I threw that little tiny bit of five spice on there with the mango, it just makes the mango pop. And the whole thing, you want Mr. Humpy? <laughs> the whole thing just pops and, and tastes fantastic. And this steak here, oh, very uh, tender and succulent. But this is crazy. I've never even thought of one of these before until today. Mm. Steak and mango. Mm. Oh. Mm. You know, once in a while I'm surprised at how good things are, but I'm kind of almost surprised how good this is. It's really, oh, it's so delicious. It's better than I expected. I knew basically what it would taste like, but it's definitely better than what I expected. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is fantastic. Wow, that is fantastic. Oh, I'm going to thoroughly enjoy this for sure. And I'm going to make it over and over again when I can. Mmm. Wow. Well, thanks for showing up to another episode of uh, <laughs> Crazy Kent's Kitchen and Cooking with Crazy Kent. <laughs> mm, thank you for popping by and watching me cook. Oh, this is delicious. So now, go away and let me eat. <laughs> Ciao for now. Okay, we are just sitting around chilling out this morning now. Just relaxing and that. The girls are playing with their toys and stuff, but uh, right now it's uh, we're just about totally engulfed in the uh, shade here now. Not quite 100% yet, but uh, waiting for that. <laughs> Good thing too because it's uh, supposed to hit uh, 20. It's 24 now. It's supposed to hit 28 to 30 degrees today. Wow, it's gonna be hot. But yeah, just waiting for the shade to come over. That'll be great. We got a bit of a breeze going right now and uh, hopefully it'll get stronger. But uh, without the breeze, even in the shade, it's pretty hot on days like this. But uh, anyway, we're better off here than uh, most people are because a lot of people are out in the direct sunlight today. Wow, it's hot. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. But anyway, I uh, don't know if uh, you noticed this before, but... Uh, I uh, took down my uh, my tub for my uh, socks there and the tub for uh, my t-shirts there and I put them down underneath here there's the uh, sock tub and the t-shirt tub here yeah put them down there I've got a lot more organizing to do I just got the, this cardboard box full of my clean laundry there with a blanket over top that way the girls can sit up in the window they love to look out the window just love it so I, I left that there for them otherwise it wouldn't be there i gotta get a new tub for laundry though for dirty laundry but yeah a few more uh, uh a few more things we have to do around here and organize and tidy up and that uh, but we're getting there we're getting there it's actually starting to feel a little more comfortable in here now that i'm rearranging a lot of stuff but that's our day today and uh I don't know, like I said, can you see the trees out there? Yeah, you see the breeze happening there? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, the only saving grace for us right now is the breeze happening outside. <laughs> yeah, it's making it uh, cooler. The air flows through there and I can feel it. Really good, but that's what we're doing. And uh, 
We're just chilling out today. I don't think we're going to do much of anything today. Uh, let's put it that way. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Okay. So I think I'll take the girls out for a little stroll around the park here and sit in the shade and just chill out now for a while and then we'll get back to you. Ciao. <laughs> well, we're having a bit of a slight change of plan today. I had some other plans for today, but uh, uh, I can always put those off for another day. So what I did was I went down to my storage locker there that you saw where I got the plywood from. And I yanked out as much as I could here. <laughs> this thing's full of... Oh, it's stuck. There, this thing is full. <laughs> full of stuff. So what I thought I'd do is I'm going to have a bit of a yard sale out here. Right out here behind me. I'm going to put up a table and that and... Uh, you know, just uh, catch the drivers and traffic going by and uh, possibly people in the neighborhood and see what I can sell off and uh, get rid of because I got a really downsize, huge, huge. And all this stuff in here, I don't need any of it. So it's got to be gone, got to be gone. So I'm going to grab the table out and uh, start yanking stuff out and see what happens. My buddy's gone uptown. I'm hoping he's going to grab some balloons He's got a couple of signs, garage sale signs. I'm gonna put them up and hopefully something happens. But uh, this is Saturday, so we got today and tomorrow if you want. So we'll just see what happens. You know, no big, no big expectations or anything, but I definitely gotta uh, downsize and get rid of a bunch of stuff. So we'll see what happens. All right, let's get on with that. Well, there we are. Most of it's all set up here. I got some more to put up, but I'm kind of tired. I'm going to take a break and uh, just sit and chill. That's something to drink. <laughs> there we go. All along the fence here, we got stuff, eh? Isn't that crazy? Yeah, so anyway, that's uh, it for my day. Anyway, I'm going to sit down and relax. Just wait and see if people show up, see what happens here. And then just uh, go from there kind of thing. Might not happen very much today. It might be better on Sunday tomorrow. So we'll see. Anyway, there we go. That's uh, us. And uh, I guess we'll just call it a day for now. And uh, see you tomorrow or see you in the next video. <laughs> I am so tired and worn out. Oh, my body's killing me. My back hurts. My body hurts. Everything hurts. But anyway. We'll talk to you soon, okay? Ciao for now. <laughs>
this 